hello everyone welcome back so this is the another most important scenario based power bi interview question that has been asked by the interviewer of the cognizant during the recruitment process of power bi developer job role okay and this question has been provided to me by one of my friend who had recently appeared the interview at cognizant for power bi developer job okay so before moving into the questions let me show you the data set that i have already imported into this power bi desktop environment and that is called as a product underscore detail okay and if you really want to see what exactly this table contain then click on this table view and here you can see this is one table called as a product underscore detail and inside this table we have only two column that is product name and the id column okay so based on these two columns we have to solve our scenario based power bi interview question okay so let's move to the report view and we'll see the question so before moving into the question let me show you again this is one particular table okay here you can see this is a table visual and inside this table visual i have dragged the id and the product name column from this product detail table inside this column section okay and i have created this table visual where we can able to see only two column that is id and the product name all right now our requirement is we have to create another new column called as the count here you can see our requirement is we have to create a new column called as the count and that column should show the count of the product okay and this column should show the count of the product it means as you can see here this is a product column and inside this product column we have different product like iphone 11 iphone 12 iphone 11 13 13 14 13 15 okay so now i want to create another column call as a count and that count column should show the count of the product okay it means here you can see this is iphone 11 and in this particular column iphone 11 is appear for two times that's why in front of this iPhone 11 and this iPhone 11, we are able to see the count of the product that is 2, right? Likewise, here you can see iPhone 13 is appear for 3 times. That's why in front of the iPhone 13, I am able to see the count of the product that is 3, correct? Same way, in this particular table also, we have to create another column called as the count and that count column should show the count of the product, okay? So how can we achieve that? This is the requirement, all right? So to get the answer, what we have to do, just right click on this particular table, then create a new column, all right? Then rename it as count, okay? Then equal to, and here we will use another dex functions that is called as the calculate dex function. Why we are using the calculate dex functions? Because finally we have to calculate the number of count, right? So here we will first use the calculate dex function and inside this calculate dex function we will use another dex functions that is called as the count dex function okay and remember this count dex functions will count the number of particular value inside that particular column that we are going to keep inside this parenthesis okay so now we will enter the product name column of this product details table inside this count dex function okay then close the bracket so till yet we are just calculating the count of the product name column of this product details table all right then give the comma then next argument for this calculate dex function is the filter so in place of filter we will use another dex function that is called as the all accept okay so all accept dex functions returns the row in a particular table except those row that are affected by the specified column filters and it will take only two argument that is the table name and second is the column name so in place of the table name we will enter the table name that is product details then give the comma the next argument is the column name so in place of the column name we will give the product name column of this product details table okay then close the bracket for this all except dex function then again close the bracket for this calculate dex function okay so let me explain what exactly we are doing here here we are calculating the count of the product name column of the product details table because here we have to at the end we have to show the count of the product right that's why here we are using the calculate dex functions to calculate the count of the product name column of this product detail table all right then the next is all except dex function why we are using this the main motive of using this dex functions is here we have to remove all the filters from this product details table 
except for the filters on this product name column of this product details table that's why here we are using the all except text function okay then simple click enter to create the new column that is called as the count and here you can see we have successfully created the new column that is called as the count right then just click on this particular table visual then drag this count column inside this column section okay then rename it as count all right now here you can see now here you can see this is the count column that we actually need so to check this whether it is showing the properly or not here you can see this is the product name column and in this product name column iphone 11 is appearing only for two times right this one is the first one and this is the second one that's why in front of this iphone 11 i am able to see the count of the product is two correct Likewise, here you can see iPhone 13 has been appeared for three times. That's why here we are able to see as the three, correct? And same way in front of this particular product name, we are able to see the count of the product that is present in this product name column, right? So in this way, we can create a new column that is called as the count, which should show the count of the product that is present in this product name column. All right. So thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.